Hello fellows and fellows and welcome to the Homestead Prepper channel. And uh, what you're looking at here is my uh, old work truck that is uh, stuck in some Florida sugar sand. And um, this Florida sugar sand is notorious for sticking vehicles. And uh, I've even seen one ton diesel 4x4 wreckers get stuck in this stuff. And uh, there's not really a lot to it. It looks solid, but it's just basically sand. And uh, I know there's a lot of other ways that we could unstick the truck here. And it'd be easy, you know, to call a neighbor or, you know, get another truck over here and just snatch me out of there. But, you know, if you're on your own, uh, you may not have that option. And um, I was in this very truck a couple years back over in the Green Swamp and I got stuck. And there was no one else around. I had to unstick myself. And uh, what I want to do is take the opportunity to show you how to gain a mechanical advantage on a practical application using a rope and pulleys to get ourselves out. Okay, I'm going to just try to explain this the best I can on a little bit on how pulleys work. And uh, what you're looking at here is a 5 to 1 mechanical advantage. And that means that we have a... Uh, 3,400 pound load and uh, that the tree is our anchor and uh, 5 to 1 that means that if I exert a force of 680 pounds well actually I'd have to exert a force of a little more than that to pick this up. I could pick this truck up in the air uh, with 680 pounds of force using this particular setup right here and uh, the way it works is only the moving pulleys give you the advantage. Now this is a fixed pulley if we get rid of those other ones and you pull on that rope, you're still pulling the full load here. Actually, you're pulling a little more because you're gaining some friction. If I add a second pulley like this, I got one, two, three, that's a three to one. If I add another fixed pulley and another pulley over here, I've got one, two, three, four, Five. That's where I get my 5 to 1 mechanical advantage. These are moving with the load as I pull. These are fixed. Um, and for every 2 that you add, if I were to add 2 more pulleys, a pulley here and a pulley here, I'd get 7. If I were to add another pulley and another pulley, I'd get 9. Now, the way you see this, this is 5 to 1. If I take this rope and I don't tie it to the truck, I just leave these pulleys tied here, and I tie this to the tree, and then this would route around differently, I'd only have a 4 to 1 mechanical advantage. I don't make the rules guys, that's just the way it is. So tie it like this, that way you get the uh, maximum advantage. And uh, if you just want to make it simple, this is a uh, 9 to 1 mechanical advantage. And uh, it only takes 4 pulleys. It's pretty easy to uh, remember how to do it. And here again I've got my load and I've got my anchor and whenever you tie off to a tree make sure you use a uh, thick strap so you don't hurt it because we might need to use our trees in the future and uh, I've got two fixed pulleys here just like I do up here same way and I've got the rope tied to the truck here just like I do up here I've got this pulley tied to the truck just like this one is right here now the difference is is I put a friction hitch right here. Now I've never had any luck with those rope grabs. Uh, they don't work for me. What I usually do is just tie a hitch in there and uh, this pulley is moving along with this rope as you pull it. So if I pull here this rope is moving that way. That's moving. This whole pulley is moving and what it does is it magnifies the advantage. So I've got one, two, three and then over here I've got one, two, three, and three times three is nine. And if you all really want me to confuse you, if you take this setup up here, and then you tie this setup right here to that, tie this rope right here to that, you add five to nine, that's a fourteen to one mechanical advantage. But what we're just doing today is we're just gonna we're just gonna do this nine to one. I think most people can comprehend that.
Okay, uh, guys, I want to show you uh, what I think is the most useful knot is, uh, is a bowline. And what I like about it is it uh, doesn't matter how much force you put on it, you could untie it. So I want to show you very simply on how it's done. And I've got this through here like this. And what I'm going to do is put a little loop in the rope like that. And uh, uh, a friend of mine who's a uh, firefighter, or who was a firefighter in Polk County, the Willow Oak Station, he showed me how to do this. And what you do is the way he said to remember it is you take the rope and the rabbit comes out of his hole. Of course, you got to have that loop there. Rabbit comes out of his hole. He goes around the tree. And then he goes back in his hole. And that is a bowline. And I can put, I don't care how much force on that thing, and it can easily be undone. All right, and uh, what we've got here, let's start over here. I've got that tree there as my load, and I've got a three inch um, snatch rope around it. And I've got two pulleys, just like you saw on the diagram. I've got those run around this way, and then this runs like this. And I showed you where I had it attached, and I've got my snatch rope wrapped around the bumper. Um, I don't like really wrap, wrap it around the hitch, because those things can break off. The bumper will start to bend, and you can see that, and it's not nearly as dangerous. And um, I've got my one pulley here, like I showed you. And then what I did is I just tied another bowline, only I doubled up the rope. And I hooked this uh, pulley around here, like that. And what we're going to do is if Mrs. Homestead Prepper would be so kind as to show this, and I'm going to pull on this rope and see if we can get this truck to move. And I'll be pulling from over there. And uh, you really should have a heavy blanket or something put on there. That way if it comes apart, it won't kill you. But uh, I'm not exerting that much load. So... Okay, Mr. Homestead Prepper is pulling on that rope, which is putting tension against the pulley, and that in turn is pulling the truck out with minimal effort for one person. And the truck has been freed. You want to make sure you keep a good distance between you and the pulleys so in case one of those ropes snap, it doesn't come and slap you in the jaw or the eyes, something like that. Looks like you got it out. Alright, well y'all saw it and that's just how easy it can be. Well, I just want to go over a couple things to recap. Um, when you use a 9 to 1 mechanical advantage, for every 9 feet of rope, you only move the load 1 foot. And uh, I've moved it about 4 feet here. And uh, I've probably used about 36 feet of rope. And uh, the rope I have is a, uh, it's a climbing rope I got off eBay. Now, I don't use this one for rescue. This is just for vehicle recovery. I have another rope that I would use to rescue people. And uh, this is the blanket or something heavy. I would stick this over these pulleys right here. That way if they if it came loose, it would absorb the energy. And uh, you probably should have one over here. Maybe save your back windshield. And uh, if you don't have a tree, you can, uh, you can get one of these. Now I got these at a flea market. What these are are just mobile home tie downs. Well, these are old ones. I think I paid a dollar each for them. I got six or seven of them. And they just screw in the ground. Or you can take post hole diggers and you can uh, dig a hole and drop it down there. And I would face this at an angle away from the load. And that way it could pull towards it. And if you have really soft ground, 
you could put a couple of them in there and have a um, couple of them as an anchor point. If you live in a rocky area and you're stuck and you need a good attachment point, you could probably make a metal plate, a heavy duty metal plate with a hook on it, and you could get a cordless hammer drill and you could uh, put some tap cons in there, make sure it's nice hard rock and not soft rock. And uh, of course, you definitely want to put a heavy blanket or coat or something made to absorb the energy in case that came off. And uh, like I said, this is a used rope. And I just wanted to show you this bowline, how easy it comes apart. Pull it like that. And it doesn't matter if I pulled it or if we had a big 4x4 pulling us. That would come off just that easy. And this other hitch over here, this one will come apart too. So, that's all I wanted to go over. And uh, I hope that helps somebody. And I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Homestead Prepper. Out.